Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insight. Today we have a really quick but important update from Gminer. This week Gminer has two releases that have just come out within the past couple of days. 2.89 which has the ability to set fans based on thermal temperatures and see unpaid balance. But the big one is on 2.88 the ability to display memory temperatures under Linux for NVIDIA GPUs with GDDR6X memory. So all my cards that are GDDR6X, my 3070 Ti, my 3080, my 3080 Ti, and my 3090 cards now for the first time in G minor in Linux under Hive, I'll be able to see what the memory temperatures are. And this is huge for me because I have some rigs that have been questionable as far as what is the, really the temperature. Sure, I could try to pull them off and swap them into a Windows rig to, get to see what that is. But now it's so much better to be able to just go and take a look at that. So we're going to be taking a look at this really quick and see the differences. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button to show you support for our channel and be notified of future video updates. Let's get into it. Jumping into Hive OS, I'm going to be looking at my further win rig. And in this rig, it has seven cards. It has five RTX 3070 full hash and two RTX 3080 full hash cards. However, one of my 3080s has been thermal throttling on me. And it was always a mystery. What is the temperature on this card? What is it running? So I actually had to dial it back quite a bit. If you look, I'm using a core clock of 850 and my memory clock offset is zero on this card. And I'm running the fans at 90 and I'm still able to keep it up at about an 85 mega hash, which is pretty respectable. However, I would really love to know what that temperature is. Now, two cards beneath that, you'll see there's an identical card. It's giving me 100 mega hash, however, and I'm running regular full overclock settings. I'm using 1100 lock core as well as 2350 on the memory. And if you want to see, let me show you what this rig looks like. So this is the rig right here, and on the two ends, on the left side and on the far right side, is my RTX 3080. They're all full hash cards. And in the middle is just full hash 3070s. Altogether, this gives me about 500 mega hash when it's running properly. However, this card has been giving me a lot of problem on the right side, and that's why I had to dial it back. With these settings now too, is it's really great because using this new G minor, I just jump into shell in a box, and I'm able to see, wow, okay, this first card, even all the way dialed back so much, I'm still getting 83.61 mega hash, but it's showing me it's at 106 degrees Celsius. So it's thank goodness I dialed it back or else it'd be well into 110 very, very easy. But that's even with 90% fan, I'm at 106. So I definitely have to uh, stop procrastinating and do the thermal pads on this car as it's a necessity at this point. I want to be able to get that 100 mega hash out of the card, but look at the card that's to below it. It's running at 100 mega hash. It's an identical card, but it's only running at 40 on the core, but 88 degrees is running my thermal temperature. So that's great. I'm really happy with the performance of that. Be able to give me 100 mega hash and still be below 90 degrees Celsius. Wow, now this car is up to 108 degrees. I definitely have to get moving. This is kind of like a barbecue. I could probably cook some food on or some hot dogs or hamburgers or something, or maybe even a good steak. It's definitely not healthy for my card. And it's really important to be able to see these thermal temperatures because you can't just rely on just seeing the cores. Like, look, the one car is showing me 45 degrees is the core. The other one is showing me 41. You think, oh, it's nothing. They're really, really close. No, look, one car is running at 88 degrees on the thermal. The other one's running 106 degrees, 108. If I ran up the thermals a little bit higher, it would be even much higher than that. My safeguard around this again was just to be able to dial these memory clock settings back to zero as well as reduce the core clock just to take that load off of it temporarily. I'm definitely going to be redoing the thermal pads on this card as a priority. I see Red Panda just actually covered it in a couple of videos. He has some great videos, so you may want to check out his channel on thermal pads. I'll actually put a link down below if you want to check it out too. He kind of went through it pretty easy and I'm sure it's a lot harder than it is on these cards. I'm going to be doing a thermal pad update. Our main point is just that now you have the ability to see the memory temperatures on these cards and it could be pretty scary. I don't want to kill my cards, uh, even if you notice too, my 3070s. I'm only running them slightly over 60 mega hash. I'm not running them hard. I want good efficiency. I don't have a thermal temperature on them too, but I want to be able to prolong the life and longevity of these cards and hopefully they'll last me a long time to come. 
So I hope this helps you. And if you're curious and if you have some cards that are running higher than you think or you're getting some thermal issues, you definitely want to check out this new G minor version 2.88 at least. And this version is supported in Hive as of the time of recording. 2.89 was not an available download for me to download natively within Hive yet. But I imagine probably within the next day or so it'll be there. And then he has the ability to display unpaid balances on certain ET hash pools which, okay, I don't care about that so much, but auto fan support for the memory temperatures. So now they have the ability to be able to monitor the thermal temperatures of the cards. So you'll be able to do some fan adjustments with that. So that's definitely a welcome addition. And hopefully we see more improvements with some of the other miners, like T-Rex miner, as well as LOL miner, NB miner, to be able to see what these thermal temperatures are. And I really can't wait to be able to see the thermal temperatures directly within the Hive OS directly within the GUI to be able to see what these temperatures are. To me, that's, that would be a huge, huge victory for us being able to tune and optimize our cards and keep them safe. If you have a card, it's an investment, you want to prolong it and get as much hash rate safely out of it as you can. Don't beat on your cards. I don't abuse them. I try to keep them all running at a, at a good rate. I want a good hash rate, but I don't want to kill them. And I'm sure you don't want to either. So if you've enjoyed this video and it helps you, definitely give me a big thumbs up like. And don't forget to smash down on that subscribe button so you're notified of future video updates, as well as me taking on doing some thermal pad updates in the near future. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Till next time, stay safe. Happy mining!